Now one of the very common examples, and this is actually given in your in your book also, uh, of a circuit is a torch. It is most commonly used. Like we said, the two two electrical cells inside this torch in this diagram are connected in series. So they are connected one after the other, and their respective potentials are getting added. So if one is 1.5 volt, one is 1.5 volts, we I, I have a total of 3.0 volts available across. their terminals right Ac across their combined essentially combined terminals now let's try to see how the electricity would flow inside this uh, torch right when it is on so of course the electricity or the traditional electric current or just the current would start flowing from the anode then it would go inside the filament it would come on the other side and then travel the wires finally it reaches the bulge of the switch this inverted v it travels a little bit through the switch and from the other inverted v it can now go up to the other other metal plate and then finally reach the cathode of course the emf inside the battery the chemical reactions are further driving this these electrons uh, or this electric current sorry not the electrons the electric current uh, across across to the back to the anode now this is what happens when the switch is actually closed when the switch of this battery is is open when we shift it let's say downwards then these two v's would come here and if you notice they are no longer making contact with the metal plate above circuit is therefore broken and the torch becomes off right nothing magical about it it is actually pretty simple if you think about it